Oh! What? Why is it so cold? Oh, what's coming? Oh, hey! It's winter time! Well, sort of. I wonder where all the animals went. Do you know where all the animals went? Hey, let's figure out where animals go when it gets really cold. Like this! Oh, come on! Whoa. The Hug Bug Barrel! Whoa, welcome back to the Hug Bug Barrel. My name is Jay, and it's so good to see you again. Welcome back. Today, we're talking about how animals handle the winter or if they leave. So there's a couple of really cool things to talk about here. Today we're going to talk about something called migration and another thing called hibernation. But first, let's look at my friend Froggy. Do you think Froggy loves the snow? I mean, maybe he does, but he is an amphibian and they don't do well in cold weather. So what do frogs do when it's winter time? I'm glad you asked. So let's talk about it. Now, think of this glass of sand as sort of like the sand and the mud that's around a pond. Now, when it starts to get cold out, the frog is gonna do something called hibernation. It needs to sleep through the winter. So this frog is gonna go dig, 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 dig down in the mud, just like that. And then it's gonna slow down, it'll slow its heart rate, and it's not gonna eat, and it's gonna sleep, and it's gonna hibernate in the mud until the spring comes, and it warms up, and then the frog is gonna try to dig its way out of the mud somehow. Ah, breathe! But what about animals that can't dig themselves into the mud and stay nice and cozy over the winter? So let's talk about that too. Now, some animals who can't dig themselves into the mud and be nice and cozy, they'll fly south. Yeah. So they'll buy a plane ticket and they'll say like, Hey, I'm going to go someplace warmer. No, no, that's not how that works. But we have birds and I have two little goslings here. I know they don't have big big wings yet, but birds will fly south when it gets too cold so that they can live in a place that's really warm. And this is called migration. Birds migrate someplace where it's warm. But here's the really cool part, is that not all animals who migrate fly. Yeah, not all these animals are gonna be like, hey, let's go south and we'll take this plane. <laughs> Some animals travel on foot, and some swim, like whales. Whales can migrate throughout the oceans. Okay, so let's go through this one more time. We have some animals that can hibernate, so they go into a sleepy state where they slow their bodies, and they sleep throughout the winter, like frogs. We have other animals that travel, so they migrate to a warmer place so that they don't have to deal with the really cold weather. But what about the animals that stay here, that stay in the winter, that actually do well in the cold weather? Hmm. Well, let's talk about that too. Ah, so I have here um, a log, some grass, some twigs, Dirt. And let's talk about what animals do when they stay here. Now, some animals like rabbits and chipmunks and squirrels, they can hibernate, but they also are very active in the wintertime. So some might burrow into the ground. Ooh, it's up, it's warm. So that they have a warm place to stay when it gets too cold and others might create a den or a nest. And squirrels are a great example of this. They might make this nest, kind of like that, and they'll make it in a tree, and they'll make it out of leaves and other things that they find on the ground, and they'll have this place to stay. So the rabbits aren't gonna be in the squirrel's nest, but I don't have a squirrel with me, so. Yeah, this is warm too, yay, hey, this is warm too, ah! 
And we've learned a lot of really cool things. We learned about migration, hibernation, and... And it's time to get hooked on a book. Let's get our hands dirty, or even more dirty. Come on. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Ready, set, look. Hey, that's not that bad. I'm getting used to this. Yeah. Hey, look at this. This is called Boat the Tugboat. Let's take a look. Come on. This is Boat the Tugboat by John Seymour. Boat the Tugboat is a kind and hard-working boat. He loves working at the harbor, hugging and towing ships, and watching the seagulls fly above him. But one day, Boat drifted too far from the harbor and was caught in an angry thunderstorm. The storm made Boat heave up and down, and the waves crashed hard against his sides. Crash! Boat was scared. He closed his eyes and hoped that he could stay afloat. When he opened his eyes, the sky was clear and sunny. Ah, Boat was relieved. But Boat noticed that he couldn't hear the ocean anymore, and instead of seagulls flying above him, they were flying around him. Hmm. Boat looked around and saw that the storm had washed him up on top of a volcano. He needed to get down fast or else the volcano might erupt and he'd be turned into a roast tugboat. Luckily, there were lots of dogs around the volcano and they all came to help Boat. Aww. With a bark and an orf, the dogs held Boat slide down into the ocean. Splat! Boat was happy to have made new friends. Boat began heading back to the harbor. But then a big hurricane fell from the sky. The hurricane rushed towards Boat, gobbled him up, and threw him high into the clouds. Whoosh! Boat was scared. He closed his eyes and hoped he didn't crash into any seagulls. When he opened his eyes, the sky was clear and sunny. Ah, and the hurricane was gone. Boat was relieved. But Boat noticed he couldn't hear any seagulls, and instead of water blowing against him, it was sand. Boat looked around and saw that the hurricane had thrown him up on top of a canyon. He needed to get down fast, or else his engine might fill up with sand, and he wouldn't be able to work at the harbor anymore. Luckily, someone doing their laundry nearby lost one of their blankets, and it flew up towards Boat. As the blanket blew over Boat, one corner got stuck on his mainmast and another corner got stuck under his hatch. The blanket caught some wind and became a big sail. Boat sailed off the canyon and soared down into the river below. Boat was happy to know what sailing felt like. The river opened up into the ocean and Boat began heading back to the harbor but then a giant octopus popped out of the ocean. Pop! The giant octopus couldn't see very well because the storm had blown its glasses away. And it thought Boat was a yummy fish snack. It picked Boat up with one of its tentacles and nibbled on his stern but quickly shouted, This isn't a yummy fish snack. Yuck! And it threw Boat across the ocean. Boat was scared. He closed his eyes and hoped that he didn't land on any more volcanoes or canyons. When Boat opened his eyes, the sky was clear and sunny. Boat looked around and saw that he wasn't on top of a volcano, and he wasn't on top of a canyon, and he wasn't getting nibbled on by a giant octopus. He was back at the harbor. Boat was really. And as happy as can be, he went back to work, tugging and towing ships, and watching the seagulls fly above him. What a silly dream, he thought. Wow, what an awesome book! What was your favorite part? Yeah, I like that too.
And my favorite part was when Bo got stuck on a volcano. That was so silly. So let's put this on the hook book stand. Come on. That was so much fun and we learned so much today. We got to learn what hibernation meant. When animals sleep through the winter, we got to learn what migration means. When animals travel far away so that they don't have to deal with the cold weather, I want to migrate. And if you live in some place that experiences different seasons, like Canada, then you can be on the lookout for different birds as they migrate. And a big one is geese like this. Whoa, look at them travel and they travel in a V2. That's so cool. Wow, let me look. Yeah, don't stand under them though, because sometimes they... They might poop on you. Oh, get this off of me. Well, that's it for today. And I hope you had a lot of fun. We got to learn a lot of cool things. And as always, we are so proud of you. We can't wait to see what you, yes, you, bring into this world. But you have to, have to, have to, have to remember that you need to dream bigger than big and work harder than hard. And we'll see you next time. Also, I just found this plant. Maybe it was hidden in the episode. I don't know. See you later.